Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Recently I made some little pumpkins. I'm using mine as coasters and the pumpkins got me to thinking about acorns. So I had to pull out some fabric and see if I could devise a pattern for an acorn to kind of go along with my pumpkins. Just like my pumpkin pattern, I used three squares, which will be enough for three acorns. I cut the squares, which are not squares, four inches by five inches. I, want, I need a little more room for the top of that acorn, so I've cut three four by fives. I have a brown piece, one and a half inches by five and a half inches. I have uh, two little pieces for the sides of my acorn and these are one inch by five inches, which is a little longer than I need, but that's okay. I have four little squares that are one inch, and then I need a little stem for the acorn, which is one inch by three quarters inch. It's tiny, and yours could be any size. And then I have a long strip, one inch wide. It's longer than I need. I think I only need a strip that's about six inches, but mine is just cut from a scrap. So I took my three, four inch by five inch, and I will be cutting these three pieces in thirds. It doesn't need to be exact because I'm using, um, I'm mixing them up so that there'll be three different fabrics for each acorn. I think they were about one and three quarter inch uh, wide, but I didn't measure. I just eyeballed those um, three fabrics in three and then I divided them up so I'll need three pieces for one acorn. After getting three pieces together, I added two of those one inch squares to the bottom right and left. I sewed from corner to corner and folded it over, made sure that it covers that area and then I cut off the fabric behind. And now I'm going to take the top of the acorn and I'll add my little one inch squares on the top right and left of this brown strip of fabric. pressing both of those pieces, I'm going to add those one inch strips to the side. My strips are a little bit wide, so I had to just trim the excess and um, yeah, do what works for you. I like having a little bit of extra fabric so that I can just square it up when I'm done. After getting the top of my acorn attached, 
I am now adding the stem with those little one inch strips and that teeny tiny, um, I guess you'd call it the stem of the acorn and I'll center that above the acorn. After squaring up my little coaster, I'm going to find a piece of batting and I would like I like to cut my batting just a little bit smaller so that I don't have as much bulk in the seam. And after getting the piece of batting to the right size, I quilted this little acorn. I just added a few lines up and down and across from side to side. Here's the backing fabric. I'll put right sides together. I'll sew all the way around, leaving an opening to turn it right side out. And then unlike the pumpkins, I will be top stitching all the way around. When I made the pumpkins, after turning it right side out, I did a little hand stitching to close up the opening, but this time I am doing a top stitch really close to the edge to close up the hole and to just give it uh, a top stitch all the way around. These little acorns coordinate really well with those little pumpkins I made. I'm having some fun putting these little tiny coasters together, these little tiny quilt blocks. You could do so many things with this quilt block. I really like having some seasonal little coasters um, to use. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.